Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Harley, and Harley is a Breer Yorkshire Terrier, and this is her second groom with me. Um, she's about eight months old, and um, the first time I groomed her, she was very difficult to groom. Um, I do have a video of that, and it, you can find it on my playlist of Puppies First Groom, Breer Yorkshire Terrier, Difficult to Groom. Um, so you can find that, or Difficult Dogs to Groom, I have that as well. Um, so you can check that out on my playlist to see her first video and uh, this will be her second one I just wanted to show you the difference from what a first cut can look like to the second cut and Hopefully you'll enjoy this video and if you do please subscribe to my channel and check out all the other things I have on my channel. I would really appreciate that so I am going to Start out with her face She actually is a really relaxed dog, generally, except for last time when she had her first groom. Hey, are you going to be good today? So we'll see how she does. Um, she's already way more relaxed than the first time I groomed her. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hey. I'm just going to kind of wait her out, so I'm holding her by the back of the jawline. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. Just right under her eyes is a little bit of tearing. And staining. take that out we are gonna be keeping her longer today so when I do hold her I'm not uh, I hold by the back of the jawline so that she can still move around quite easily as you can see but it just gives me a little bit of control of holding her Well, I'm just trying to get all that tearing and staining out right now. I know. <laughs> She's actually standing up. What are you doing? <sighs> Good girl. sure I don't put any pressure on the throat. Your ears are a little sensitive. I think the hair in our ear is bothering her. I want to get anywhere near that ear hair moving. She doesn't like it. Uh, yeah, you can see they're quite red right now and quite full of hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the hair below the ear canal. Okay, I know. I don't want to be plucking any of that hair when I'm doing the plucking of the hairs because it is a little different type of fur out there and you can tell her ears are already sensitive just by me touching the hair in there yeah I know and it, she could be starting an ear infection actually just because they are red and they are a little bumpy as well so I'll just let her owner know. She may have to go to a trip to the vet, get that checked out. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. So 
I'll leave the ears for a little bit once I get her face trimmed here. Just so that she can relax again because I know she's not going to like her ears being done. So right now I'm just holding on to the back of the skull. So again, she still has movement. I'm just making sure I don't put any pressure on that throat. Right? Good girl. Because her hair is very long this time, I am actually going to uh, try using the clippers now. Yeah. You just have to lay down. So I'm going to be using a combination of the three quarter inch blade and scissors just because she is so small. I know you don't like it. Okay. This way to the side. Now we go. Good girl. Good girl. Still being a little bit resistant, as you can see, I'm a little bit so nervous. And now I'm just trying to get most of the bulk off. And when I get down to the legs, I'm just going to come back and use scissors on there. The shoe's so small, this uh, length of blade would be really hard getting in there. So I'll go down as far as I can. And obviously she doesn't like them. Being done in the back of her head. It's okay. <laughs> Hey, no biting, no, no biting. Okay, so I'm just going to hold the back of the skull here. Okay, you're okay. You're pretty strong. All right, so instead of using clippers, I'm going to use the scissors around there because obviously she doesn't like them being so close to her head there's a little bit of matting on her leg there there you go okay so we'll move to a scissor cut This is going to be a little bit of a combination. And with each time, and she's still quite young, like I said, she's about eight months old. So with each time she keeps coming, she will get better and better. But it's still a scary experience coming to see me. I don't have too many dogs that are excited to see me. But 
there are a few dogs that actually look forward to come seeing me, but it's quite rare. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not on a Harley's favorite list of outings to go to. I'm going to be keeping her body longer, obviously. So um, when I do the feet here, I'm making sure I don't trim too much out. Kind of round them out there. So that they leave some fluff on there. So that they blend really nice with the uh, rest of the body length. I'm just going to trim inside of here. Oops. a bit matted in there um, from her pee so I'm going to trim that shorter and I will try to come back later with the number seven and trim the inside of the leg all right so I'm going to trim around here which she doesn't like around her neck being done it's the sensitive area sometimes <laughs> Come back here. I gotta lift you up. Put all her weight on there. Oh yeah, and then around her ears too are gonna be sensitive. Try to stay away from there for a little bit here. Just so she'll stay relaxed. Good girl. Okay, I'll continue on this leg. back I guess and then uh, trim those nails. I just gotta get the wee oh.
quick grab up. I see some long strayaways there. You can see she likes to lay down, so I just kind of work with them, whatever's their comfort level, as best I can. Tired. Had a rough day already. Ready for a nap. Oh, sorry. Let me make a noise. Okay, we'll trim the top of our head here. Okay, good girl. You're so tired. I'm interrupting her nap time, I think. She's trying to close her eyes here. I know. You're tired. Let me go down again. Can't be too stressful if she's trying to fall asleep. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay. Okay, so one more leg and foot here. I'm gonna get you to stand up. Yeah, I can see a little bit better.
이렇게 오자 okay. So inside her leg here, it's quite matted. I don't know if you can see. There we go. So it's quite matted, and that's just from her pee in there. So I am going to use um. A clipper blade to get in there because it's not very safe to use scissors. First I'll do these nails. Okay. Okay, so we're actually going to do some of her ears right now with the plucking because I know she's not going to like it. So she's laying right here right now. So good access to her ear. So you can see it's quite inflamed and a little bit uh, red, a little bit swollen. So I'll see if I can do it with her sitting, laying here. I know, I know. And it's quite waxy. I know. I know, baby. It's okay. Oh, I know. Okay, okay. Here, I'm going to back it up now. Now that you kind of got to look at it. And I am going to lower the table. Oh, that's it. So that I can get a little bit closer to her. And, uh, Kind of get her to lean against my body so I can have a little more control on holding her to get all that hair out that's causing her some discomfort. But she is not going to like it. So when I do hold on, I'm holding on from the top of the head here with my thumb, and then this finger is just holding under her chin, and then I'm basically just pushing her against my body. We're not putting any pressure on the throat at all. Okay. So that's what's in there. You can see it's quite waxy and dark. Just about done. Oh, we got a big one here. Oh, hold on. Hey. This right where there's a spot where there's a, a little bit more waxier one. So that's the one that's bothering her. I know. But once it's out, you do feel better. <laughs> Good girl. I know. There we go, and that's what the reminder was there. So you can see there's some quite long ones in there and some dark ones. 
Yeah, good girl. Alright, so I'm going to try to do the other ear right now. Let's see if I can first do it without me having to hold her too much. But it is, does have about the same amount of hair in there. But usually when I do the first one, then they know what's going on. And it does feel better when I'm done. I know. Itchy, 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 itchy. And there's the first little clump. Ow! Your nails are strong. There you go. It's okay. I know, I know, I know. Harley, Harley. Oh, uh, there's the second clump. One more. One more, we're done. Just about flipped my tweezers out of my hand. Hey. Good girl, just about done. One big clump in there I want to kind of get. Out, I know. So there's that, and you can see it's really dark. It had lots of wax stuck to it. Yeah, good girl. Let's mark those ears for you. Okay, good girl. Okay, so now I'm gonna raise up the table again, and I'm gonna try to use the clippers around her um, bum area. Well, first I'm gonna use the scissors, but underneath her legs there. Inside of her legs, I'm going to be using the clippers. I'll try to see what I can get done here. Because we do want it to blend, but there is matting here as well. So lots of matting right there. So it might be better to use the clippers in that area because obviously it's quite prone to matting. I think she is a little bit of a nervous peer and that is why it's so matted in there like that. Right? Hey, look at nervous. So I'm going to be getting the number 10. And we'll see how she does because we know she doesn't like the clippers. We'll try to make it as fast as possible for you. Good girl. Girl. Okay, so I'm going to go inside the leg here. Same on the other side. Get under those masks. Just a little bit right there, just on her belly. Oh, okay. Get those 
long as well. There you go, baby. All done. All right, so I'm just going to comb out her tail here. <laughs> So we'll also have a, a few mats because there's a, you can tell, as I said, she's a, just a little bit of a nervous peer. So she probably tucks her tail in there and it ends up peeing on her tail a little bit. So that makes it a little bit matted. So I'll just thin that out a little bit so I can get through it easier so I can comb it out. A little bit right here. Okay, I know, I know. Uh -uh. Make those mats now. There you go. Just gonna comb it out enough and then uh, cut it out here at the end. So I don't have to comb it all the way through. So there's the first part of mats. And then I cut some out here and then hopefully we'll just be able to get these ones easily combed through here at the end. Gonna do a little bit more trimming on the face before I put her in the bath, and then we'll be ready for the bath time. Yeah, her ears are pretty red. Hopefully, it'll it'll settle down a little bit here now that the hair is all gone. Okay.
Okay, good girl. When you are bathing, you want to make sure when you are washing the head area, you make sure that water rolls down the head um, and you don't put any water directly into the ear. And then the solution that I put in once I'm all done, the full groom helps to dry out that ears, those ears as well. And then uh, after the bath here, I make sure I kind of do a little squeegee on her. And then that just helps me to feel if there's any soap um, residue left on her. And if there is, I would rinse her off again because you don't really want any soap residue. Um, because that can make the dog itchy later, eh? Okay, good girl. Okay, you ready? And get soap. All right, here we go. I'm going to go back to the table and uh, get her ready to be blow dried. And then for her final curl. Okay, so now I'm going to give her a blow dry. to nip at it. See, you got it a few times. So, <laughs> some dogs just don't like the blow dry or the noise of it. Yeah, good girl. All right, so for, and, that, and because she doesn't like it and was trying to bite it, I probably won't blow dry her head this time. 
just clean up the body. I'm going to use the scissors to finish her up here. more around the neck area here because I couldn't get in there with the clippers and we'll just kind of blend it with where I did so we started with the clippers but it's going to finish with a scissor cut And as her, as she gets older and her fur changes, so that's what happens kind of when they're younger like this. So she's eight months. Um, their fur starts to change. So although we're keeping her longer these last few times, the owner may notice, and it's not necessarily in all of them, but the owner may notice that the, the hair becomes harder and harder to comb out um, because it mats faster so then they might not be able to keep it as long as uh, they did last time so the fur does get a different texture and density to it so you kind of gotta wait and see that's why some Yorkies can grow their fur right to the ground and it really doesn't mat up you know they can they still have to comb it and you know obviously take care of it but it's not, it doesn't mat up the same as some dogs. You can comb them out and 15 minutes later, it looked like you didn't even do anything. Okay. want to layer it a little bit so it's not so long. Nice. Right, so I'm going to go real quick with the blow dryer without it on her head. Um, just to give it a clean her up and see if any there's any flyaway. So it's going to be real quick here, but you're not going to like it. All right, there we go. There, good girl. Thank you. There, that just gave me a better idea. Just because I'm scissor cutting so much, I wanted to make sure there's... Um, some pieces that would fly out for me and then also her head is easier to finish when it's got a little bit more dryness to it Yeah. 
There we go. Let's round out the ears a little bit, but not too much. You can keep that length. And there we go. So there's the completed second grooming for Harley here. Like I said, please check it out on my playlist. I have the puppy's first groom. You'll find Harley in there as a Breer Yorkie, Yorkshire Terrier. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, please check out and subscribe to my channel. And uh, you can check out all my videos there. And uh, please comment uh, if you'd like to see something new and tell me what you think. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.